Here, I got one for you. I got this, uh, I got this Mutiny Metals silver. And I've got some, some 10 ounce, some 5 ounce, some 1 ounce bars. It's all like pirate themed. Pretty neat. I saw somebody post a, a picture of it years ago. And I bought a bunch of it. And I bought like 10 of these exact same ones. And I made these little pouches to hold them. And I gave them to my kids and a few friends and stuff. And uh, I posted them up a couple times today. And I just, I never showed any photos of these things before. And I did a little, uh, just a little tiny 30 second Instagram video just showing them. And somebody tagged Mutiny Metals in it. And I had forgotten to tag Mutiny Metals in there, so I, I tagged them and then posted another photo up for them. And uh, they were great to do business with. Dude had my shit super fast, and it was totally cool. And uh, some dude just got on my comment, and he's like, that's so unpatriotic. They're getting a 40% markup on their silver, and uh, I'd rather support patriotic places. And I just replied to him. I'm like, well, you should totally go and fucking buy some silver then, because... I don't give a fuck how much silver you buy. Unless you're buying a thousand fucking ounces, you're paying fucking spot on it, motherfucker. You don't have a broker license. and like, I mean, you can go and hunt down some, some scrap and shit. Pay yourself fucking minimum wage while you're doing that shit. How about fucking the molds to have them made? Whether he's using fucking wax molds, sand cast molds, or he has an actual mold. Either way, the cheap way to do a mold costs you way fucking more time and labor. And then if he actually has a mold made... You're a couple hundred bucks to have a fucking mold struck, especially a custom one with your name on it like he has. And then what's it cost to melt that shit down? How much time does it take? How many cells is your mold? Are you pouring one ingot at a time? Like, I don't know the real answer to that, but I can tell you I'll be happy to pay the 40%. The dude that made the comment, I don't have a clue who you are. You might be one of my fucking best customers, and if I'm blasting you, well, then you should have kept your fucking mouth shut. Stay the fuck off my shit. What do you do for a living? I saw a Jeep. I think you have a Jeep, right? I'm sure they charge fucking 40 cent over fucking spot. My point was, we make a tool bag. My Cordura costs $7 a yard to $13 a yard, depending if it's solid color or camo. I don't have one yard in a tool bag. But you guys pay me $100 because you don't have a fucking sewing machine. And what was your point? What'd you say? You're not paying just for the material. You're not paying for that 30 seconds it takes him to make that. You're paying for the 10 or 20 or 30 years it's taken him to learn how to do that. Like Amanda Amanda cut hair in San Diego. $100 haircuts, $200 haircuts. Made $100,000 a year fucking cutting hair. Could I cut my hair for less than the 35, 40, 50 bucks that she charged me to do it? Yeah, I probably could. What would my fucking hair look like? How often do I want to do that? Do I want to have to clean that shit up? Or do I want to walk into some chick some chick with big tits that fucking shoves her titties all over my fucking head and shaves my head down and then cleans it up and comes sucks my dick afterwards? Go fucking, go suck your own dick. Fucking make your own fucking metal. Go figure your shit out. Stay the fuck off of mine.